welcome to our part two in uh, biology series revision whereby we are still on genetics but we're going to talk about now we had finished about talking about variation the types of variation which you saw it was continuous variation and discontinuous variation so here now we're going to talk about what actually causes variations what causes variation But then even if you look at your neighbor, you look at home, you even, you, your entire family, you don't look similar. So perhaps maybe you could be asking yourself, why is it that we came from the same parents and yet you are not similar? The traits are different, the traits are distinguish you from one another. So we want to see what actually causes variation. Variations in uh, living things is caused by a key factor. And that is normally, we have two key factors. One is actually reproduction. Reproduction is one of the key factors that causes variation. You see, you cannot talk about reproduction without mentioning fertilization. So in reproduction here, we have what we call two things. There is gamete formation. There is gamete formation. What is a gamete? Gamete simply means it is a reproductive cell. This one can, and what is a reproductive cell? It's either a sperm or an ova. Then, when we talk about gamete formation, the process for gamete formation is normally, this one is for males, and this one is in females. So when we talk about gamete formation in Males, we normally talk about spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis. And when it's about uh, females, we normally talk about um, oogenesis. These are the terms used to refer gamete formation in males and in females. So how is gamete formation bringing about variation? So in gamete formation, there are two important processes that normally takes place. Process number one is normally when you're talking about um, independent assortment. And then number two is when you talk about um, crossing over. So these are the two key points which brings about variation. So if just in a nutshell to talk about independent assortment independent assortment now this one is just a recap so in independent assortment simply mean uh, uh, when we are talking about cell division in form 3 we mentioned about meiosis and mitosis So, meiosis and mitosis, all of them are types of cell division. And type of cell division, there are normally three. We normally have, actually the, the stages, we normally begin from interface. Prophase. 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 And then we have metaphase, then we have anaphase, then lastly the last stage is normally telophase. This one we covered, we covered it adequately in form 3. So I'm not going to talk much about this one. I will just shed the light how independent assortment is bringing about variation. So when homologous, homologous chromosomes pair up during metaphase. Their alignment, their alignment at this equator of the spindle is actually a process of probability. So realize when these chromosome, when these homologous chromosomes, after aligning them, align themselves at the plane of the equator, in the next stage, which is normally anaphase, they're going to separate, they're going to have something like this. 
the homologous chromosomes have separated. So we're going to have something like this. So at the end of the day, we shall have two different daughter cells. Two different daughter cells, which are having same number of chromosomes but different genetic constitution. So this one is one of the, this is one of the concepts or one of the factors that also brings about variation. The second point that brings about variation, another part that brings about variation is crossing over. Crossing over, of course, normally occurs during meiosis. Crossing over normally during occur meiosis. Normally occur during meiosis. This is where by now, and crossing over simply means, by the way, crossing over, before I tell, crossing over simply means is the exchange of genetic materials between non sister chromatids exchange of genetic material between non sister chromatids n form 3 also talked about chromosomes which are also going to talk about part 3 in a nutshell about chromosome let's say for example this is an example this and just to draw this one is a, a chromosome, a homologous chromosome. Then also come and draw here one, another one here. So you can see here, I have a bivalent. This one is a bivalent. This one is a bivalent. These are two different homologous. These are another, a pair of homologous chromosomes, a pair of homologous chromosomes. They have come together. To, they have aligned themselves in synapses. This is called synapses. So this point of contact where these chromosomes are attaching to each other, we normally call it chiasma. We normally call it chiasma. So when we talk about singular is chiasma. Plural is chiasmata. So these two, remember it is occurring during process of cell division, meiosis. So after cell division is ongoing, then this now will have to separate. We'll have something like this. We'll have something like this. It will take a part of that one and go with it. Take a part of that one and go with it. Then the other one now we shall have something like this. So we'll take a pattern like this and go with it. Take a pattern like this and go with it. Something like that. So you can see, this is a portion which during now cell division in the next stage. You can see. So this one basically now what we call, causes what we call, causes actually what causes variation. What is causing over exchange of genetic material between and sister chromatids? This one is a chromatid, this one is a chromatid. This one is a chromatid, this one is a chromatid. So you can see, this one is a, this, these are two non-sister chromatids. I've used two different black pens to show you the different types of chromatids. You can see them, this black color denotes a different type of chromatids. This blue color also denotes a different type of chromatids. So you can say these two non-sister chromatids have exchanged materials. So at the end of the day, these two chromosomes during cell division when we talk about meiosis of course in meiosis normally have four haploid daughter cells so not one four haploid daughter cells which result from meiosis and are following this all these stages here so at telophase we're going to have four daughter cells unlike in meiosis mitosis where we had two daughter cells so in meiosis here we shall have four haploid daughter cells and each hap each four haploid daughter cells which we are, will be having have the number of chromosomes compared to the parent and each of them will be having different genetic constitution because of what this the, this phenomenon which normally call it crossing over the last part as i wind up this part three is uh,
mutation 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 i'm going faster because we cover these things while you're at school so i'm just trying to make a recap so a mutation simply means it is spontaneous Sp spontaneous simply means something which you call sudden spontaneous change in genetic makeup of an organism sudden or spontaneous remember mutation occurs at two levels in human beings it can either occur at chromosomal level or it can also occur at genetic level we have a whole subtopic talking about mutation but in a nutshell in this concept of variation when we talk about chromosomal level, which simply means the chromosomes during the process of cell division, some fail to separate. So we end up a cell having much number of chromosomes supposed to, than they're supposed to have to have. Then we talk about genetic level with regard to mutation. When we talk about genetic level, simply means we have genes here. And we normally have one heterogeneous bases, which are normally used to denote uh, the genes. We normally have adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thiamine. So we may realize genetic, genetic mutation, it can result by whereby one of the nitrogenous bases is deleted or another one is added. So when you have something like ACT, ACT, what you're going to see there in front, is a triplet base, which normally codes it's a triple base which normally codes for manufacture of a certain characteristic by the ribosomes. So if a certain base has been deleted, it will entirely lead to a wrong information being carried, thus producing a different product. Also going to cover much about this one in the next subtopics, but at this juncture I want you to understand that variations is caused by mutation then in reproduction we have crossing over and dependent assortment so feel free also where you have not understood kindly I, I shared my email in the part one kindly send me your feedback thank you